So Elisabetta, we are here in the campus of the school with so many young people from all over Europe. What does it feel to welcome all these young people here in your school? Uh, I'm actually so excited because it was quite time that something like here, uh, like this has happened here. So we usually don't have so much people, yeah. so much young people. So it's, it's very nice for me, it's very nice. Lovely, and you are the head teacher of the school. You've been here for a year, a year and a half? A couple of months. A yeah. couple of months, yeah. okay. <laughs> How many students you have? What makes this school different? So we have 200 students in school. Uh, some of them are uh, Adventists, some of their, most of them are not mm -hmm. Adventists. So I think that's the good mission for us. Yeah. That's maybe something uh, makes us different than usually other schools. What do you think students love the most about the experience here uh, in the school when they go back to back, back home because there's a boarding school here or when they go to study to, at university? What is the thing they remember? I think uh, first that they uh, make uh, this campus like their own family. They have new friends, new, uh, not parents, but something similar. And basically they like to coming back every yeah. time for everything, like be volunteer here or be someday teachers here. So yeah, they have nice memories. This is not just the secondary school. People also come from all over the world here to do further studies and become pastors. Tell me a bit about that. Yes, uh, like you said before, I'm not here lots of years, but we have some students that they actually come here in high school finished and one, two or three years after that come here to Theological College. So they have some uh, call for upstairs <laughs> so they can continue their education. So as the head teacher, what is your dream for the future when you think about the future of the school? Well, first thing is what can we do with be better with our community, local community. We have a nursing program and physiotherapeutics, so we, we can do massage for all people, we can do uh, measuring blood pressure for all people, so we already do that. But in the future, uh, my wish is that we can do that one on a month. So like we have some, uh, some physical therapy here for local community short version of course but our students can practice and local people can enjoy on campus that for is free from it. yeah yeah Thank so you. that that's one of my very very first dream <laughs>religious high school in that time Yugoslavia, but that was not a starting point of the educational system in this area. It started much more before. It was in 1931 when a theological seminary in Belgrade was opened and later on was moved from Belgrade to Zagreb, then from Zagreb to Belgrade again, and then from Belgrade in 1974, here on the newly built campus that we are now at it uh, in Maruševec. So from that time on, school was developing in two ways. One was high school with several programs that were changing through time but uh, general education and medical trainings from different fields were constant all that time and also theological seminary that was um, first in uh, castle here near this campus and later here in the new building which is near to us here where we are having this conversation. So this school has a very long and rich history. Absolutely. But history for you is also quite personal. Tell me a little bit of your journey uh, with this beautiful school. Yes, unfortunately, on the beginning of the 90s of past century, uh, war started in former Yugoslavia, so many people from different parts of Croatia were forced to go somewhere else as a refugees. So I, as a 11 years old kid was also forced to move from the place where I was born uh, to some safer place and that safer place was Maruševec. This uh, seminar in that time called Adventist Seminary, later uh, Adriatic Union College. And uh, my family, my parents, my sister and I, we found place here which was for us uh, some safe 
ref okay. refuge, yeah. safe heaven here on earth. And I didn't believe in that time that s some years later I will also be here for the studies in theology for four years. And also my sister is today here, wife of the teacher on the Adriatic Union College. So we are uh, all time connected with this special wow. place. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> fantastic. I'm so glad that in a difficult time, this yeah. would become your home. Absolutely. This was a safe place. Yeah. And what is one dream, one wish for the school that you have? To grow in any mean. <laughs> so uh, it's not always quantitative growth, but we like that also but to grow in a holistic approach, uh, to be a place where you can grow spiritually, where you can develop mentally, and when you can receive uh, or, or equip for the serving ministry wherever God leads you in your life. Oh, thank you very much, Nevin.